Hey guys, it is Modified Makeup by Mad. I made a I'm back video because like I am. I looked like dog <laughs> Now I'm just gonna do a get ready with me. I'm not really gonna go into like extreme detail. I might, I don't know. Um, and just talk while I do my makeup. So um, I have a broken nail, so I'm doing good. So first I'm gonna put my hair back. I am already moisturized. Clearly, I just got out of the shower. It was hair washing day today. What I usually start off with, I have some options, but I think what I'm going to go with is the uh, Kayate. Is that how it's pronounced? London um, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I got this in Ipsy, and I really like it because sometimes I get dry. I don't know. I have combination skin, so it just depends, but... If I'm inside a lot with a lot of air conditioning, I get um, a little crispy. I just do two pumps. It's pretty good for me. People on my makeup Instagram will ask me like, oh, how do you come up with like these color combinations that you do for your makeup looks? And it's usually just like with what I'm wearing. So now that I have that on, I'm gonna put my eye primer on. So I just use the e.l.f. Primer. I don't know. I bought this like a while ago and I still have it. I'm just gonna wait till I run out of it to like get something else. I don't really have any complaints. And I put concealer over it anyways. So I guess I don't really need to put this on. It just makes me feel better. I did just start my senior year of school. Um, I'm an entrepreneurship major if anyone's wondering. So like, what do I do next? Foundation. I use this L'Oreal uh, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I know it's a drugstore one, but I like it a lot, honestly. And since I get tan during the summertime, I mix it with a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Rich. And this is also my foundations in shade Shell Beige. Um, usually, I just get the same foundation color, and then depending on like what my skin tone is throughout the year, I either add concealer or I add liquid contour. What do I get about like, I don't know, what is that? A nickel size? I want to say it's a dime or a quarter. Um, and then I take my Tarte Shape Tape, and I like fuck it around in there a little bit. I have this little pick comb right here with like a little pick end on it, so I just do a little little mix on my palm not my palm back of my hand and then I get the excess on here and I just go right there so the brush that I use for foundation is the uh, Jeffree Star Morphe rib uh, I think it's a foundation brush I don't know it's JS1 I'm just gonna put this all over my face and neck do not forget neck come on people Jesus Christ I see that all the time, and it's one of my pet peeves, honestly. I know it shouldn't bother me that much, but it does. It pisses me off, frankly. I have a lot of fun video ideas planned. Um, I am gonna put my ear stretching videos on here because I love watching ear stretching videos. I love people's reactions to different sizes because it helps me feel more informed. My goal size is, I think, either three-fourths of an inch or seven-eighths. I am just gonna see what I like. If I go to three-fourths and I'm like, oh, I want more, then I will do more. Right now, I'm only at a four gauge, so we still got a couple of sizes to go. I have very stretchy ears because I stretched my ears in the past, so if they start coming out quickly, it's not because I'm stupid. I never stretch my ears if it like hurts a lot obviously it's gonna pinch like almost all the time but like if it's fucking hurt and like I'm not gonna do it so yeah because <sighs> I know that's a very controversial topic I mean if my ears are happy and they're not freaking out then I'm happy I also just want to like do a bunch of get ready with me's kind of like this because I like to talk when I do my makeup and also like a lot of people want makeup tutorials but if you want like tutorials on specific things a common one is how I do my eyeliner how I blend eyeshadow those are common requests so if you want them I can make them just let me know because I got those a while ago before I was on YouTube oh my god I just 
just like ripped off 20 eyelashes, bro. Yeah, a lot of people were worried that I was like upset in the last video. In all reality, I just got the sudden drive to go back on YouTube. So I um, spent all day messing with a new video editor. And then at the end of the night, because that was really late at night, I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna make a video. So that's why I um, look depressed. I mean, I always kind of am, but like, I'm good, I swear. I was just tired. So next, what I do is some concealer. I have two shave tapes. Um, I don't know which one's more empty, so I'm just gonna use both of them, but they're both in fair, number one, two S. Also, I'm using my, um, what is it? Real Techniques sponge, uh, I know what the fuck it looks like and I know this is so bad. Like, yeah, I need to get a new one. I love Shape Tape. I tried the Jeffree Star one for a while. I just didn't like the quantity of it. Like, I kept having to buy it because I use a lot of concealer. Well, I used to especially. Um, so, I also put this on my eyes because it helps with my eyeshadow sticking. Um, so yeah, I did try that one for a hot minute, but I just went right back to the Shape Tape because there's so much more product in it. And also the Jeffree Star one, again, dried weirdly and would leave like weird like lines of where I applied it at and it pissed me yeah. off. I have a lot of tattoo plans too, so I can make videos talking about upcoming tattoos I'm going to try to get. Right now I'm in the process of finishing up my video game sleeve because I'm a gamer right now. I'm working on the Pokemon aspect, because I don't know if you could tell, Blaziken is not there. So I'm actually doing that this week. I can talk about whatever you want me to with the tattoos, how I take care of them, what I do after I get them, how I prepare to get a tattoo, because that's important. You don't want to pass out. So now that I got concealer on both my eyeballs and under my eyes, I'm gonna do my chin, forehead, and nose. And I don't know who I'm kidding, I probably put this everywhere because I'm flawed, but that's okay. I don't know what all y'all been doing over quarantine, but for me, it's been playing video games, getting tattoos. I just started stretching my ears, like I said, because I said, I need to mutilate my body more. So now I'm just doing my like cream contour, liquid contour. So I do this uh, Trustique. Um, it's in Brazilian bronze and it's just a little stick. And I actually don't use my sponge for this because it's a little bit more like thick. So I use the um, JS1 foundation brush to blend it. So first I just go under my cheekbones and do some of that. I go up here on my forehead, down here, under my lip, down the nose a little bit. My plans for like after I graduate is probably gonna be moving to the more Pittsburgh area because um, you know I'm in Y town Ohio very uh, <laughs> nice area yeah I'm probably gonna go scooch my butt over there after um, graduation if I graduate right and also like it all depends on how this pandemic works out like I don't know I might just like pick up a corporate job because like I said like I'm a business major and then like my side job can be YouTube until you know you guys like me enough to make it hopefully my full job full-time job um now I do my eyebrows so as you can see they're shaved really weirdly and it's because um, I go like up more instead of like an arch you know so I use the um, Anastasia dip brow pomade in blonde um, it is like drying out a lot recently and I don't feel like buying a new one so like the perfect setting spray you can use to fix that is this Pixie uh, fucking Skin Treats Glow Mist. Um, and it has like a lot of oil in it. As you can see, it like separates. So like it's really good for like loosening this up because other setting sprays are super drying. The brush that I use um, is the Anastasia brush that's with it, like that you can buy with it. The name of it is wiped off but if you go anywhere they'll be right next to each other yeah I usually just do like under my brow and then the arch and then I just kind of like feather it out towards like the center of my face I can also show you how I wax my eyebrows because I have my own waxing kit and like with enough practice it's pretty easy to use so let me know so I'm sure everyone can agree um you usually have 
one eyebrow that does you a little bit better than your other one and mine is my right one but I also just like my left side of my face like more in general so like I'm really conflicted honestly so for powder I use baby powder so I also have like another powder mixed in here but I forget it's like some like Kayate one like translucent powder but I like baby powder because it doesn't give me the flashback that a lot of powders will in um like in a flash picture I don't know I like it and it's also extremely cheap and I've been doing it for years so I just get my sponge and I dip it in and it's in a cute little purple Tupperware and I put it literally everywhere including my eyelids because if I don't my eyeshadow will crease so I used to do makeup for um wedding parties and one time I did this trick like for a practice run um for an Italian wedding so they all had like you know tanner skin so I think the darker your skin tone this probably won't work as much because it does lighten you up a little bit but I also like wipe a lot of it away and I contour but just a heads up probably won't work for everyone but it works for my white ass <laughs> So once it looks like you've done um, too many lines of coke, I take this brush by uh, Jeffree Star Morphe JS2 just to kind of like get the excess off my eyelids because we're going to put some eyeshadow there. So now I get just regular old scotch tape because y'all thought I had talent, but um, I don't. And I just tape under my eyes to like get the little wing like shape that I do. Um... I don't know if you guys thought like I had that much of a steady hand, but I don't, so. I know, I know, okay. Um, the people who follow me on my makeup Instagram, and hopefully you came here, um, they're always like, dude, like you use the James Charles palette a lot, and it's like, he's cool. He's definitely not my favorite, but I mean, he's cool. It's just like, there's so many options. I'm gonna use the, what's it called? Um, is it like 518? Oh, this like, light orange and I'm just gonna take a little blendy brush the Jeffree Star Morphe JS8 brush it's just a little fluffy boy I'm just gonna start blending this kind of like all over the crease get up there close to the brow bone too this is just gonna make everything look all blendy I mean they have like a pretty like nice like dark orange in here what shade is that rusted so I'm gonna get kind of like a smaller, more dense blendy brush, like this one. This is the JS5 brush by Jeffree Star and Morphe. Rest in peace. And I'm gonna kind of just like blend this but not go as high up as I did for that light orange. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but just while I'm thinking about it, um, if you guys are interested, I would make a second channel for gaming because if I'm not doing like makeup and stuff like this like it's either obviously schoolwork or video games and this James Charles palette it's like this center one right here and that is a 10% off and I'm gonna get an even smaller blendy brush I'm just using sorry I'm using all the Jeffree Star Morphe brushes they just there's a wide variety of blendy shapes um, the JS12 it's like this little little baby one and I'm just gonna take like a tiny bit of this brown like a, t a tiny bit and we're just gonna like tuck that into like the outer V kind of area we don't want to like darken it up too much we just want to like add some dimension you know so like we're just gonna get like a little bit in there oh and I'll keep you guys updated but on top of everything else that I'm doing, I also have a radio show with one of my great friends, Ava. We um, don't do it during the summertime. And as you may know, the school year is like just starting. So we don't know exactly when our time is yet. But when, it, when we do know, I will let you guys know so you can listen in on it. It's just an online radio show. So you can just like go online and do it. It's called Traffic Jams. We listen to like a different genre of music every week and it's all about like exploring different genres. So I'm going to get a flat brush, uh, the JS11 brush. It's like this little flat one. And I'm gonna take this like light green down here. Oh, there go 
knows all the names. And this is in Social Blade. And I'm just gonna like kind of pack this in here for like a little like orange and green kind of thing. And this is gonna be like the base green. But I'm like thinking we're gonna put some like extra ass like glitter like on top of this. But just to like make sure it shows through, you know. And I'm gonna take this small blendy brush again, the uh, JS11, I think is what it is, JS12. And I'm just gonna like blend the uh, edges of that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this dark green and Daddy, Daddy Chill. I'm gonna just like put like a little like dark green in there cause like why not? Oh, there's a little net, what's up girl? The Alien palette has a good glittery green if I remember, yes in the color alien so this is when you would get your pixie setting spray again and i'm also still gonna just grab this same flat brush not gonna do anything too crazy and uh, yeah the js11 i'm going to spray the brush and then we're gonna take that green get it all wet and shit and then we're just gonna like pack that out there make sure you like put it up far enough because when I put on my thick ass eyeliner and if you're anything like me it might cover it up a little bit so I go up a little more and just keep packing it to make sure there's like no harsh lines and that it looks all cute so I just realized this isn't really as much like of a glittery green as it is more of a metallic but like you know what I meant so like please don't come for me thanks so now I think I might go back to that dark green a little bit and like blend out the edges a little more so we're gonna get that little baby one jazz 12 and just go back into daddy and just like pack it in there but one thing i just can't do i can't seem to do is make fucking captions for like makeup looks that I do. I'm always just like, I love cut creases. Like, I'm not creative, I think. Um, and I just can't think of, like, ways to sound hashtag cute. So, I'm gonna get this Ofra highlighter in uh, Soho. This brush doesn't have a name. I think it's a knockoff of the Tarte, like, mermaid brushes they had a while ago, whatever the hell those were. They're actually pretty nice. So this is like a super like thin like little flat one, I don't know, and I'm just gonna take like a little bit of it and throw some under my eyebrow. Now we're gonna put it a little bit in our inner eye corner, just a little zhuzh, you know what I'm saying? If you got fallout, get a little fan brush, this is another from like the little mermaid set I just told you about. And like barely even touch your face so it doesn't go into your like skin, just like, just boop. Don't think too hard about it. It's okay. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna take this and put it in my inner eye corner, like I just said. So now here's everyone's favorite part, which I don't know how to describe because it doesn't actually require talent, I swear to God. It's eyeliner. So you leave the tape on, and here's, here's the thing about this eyeliner, is it shows up so nice and it stays on all day, but it's a little leaky like sometimes it might seep under the tape and make it look weird but i have a way to fix it so it's fine. fine i just leave the tape here peel it off and then there you go like your eyeliner's done and i just do it mad thick because i like how it looks when it's like super thick this requires so much precision precision so i'm sorry if i'm so quiet right now because if i fuck up my eyeliner i get like mad moment of truth it fucking did it. If this is what you want it to look like, and then you can have a little fucking, fucking bitch like this side where it won't do that. I take this same little, like, brush, little mermaid brush. I usually get my foundation because if I do concealer, it's, like, super white. And the foundation just, like, blends in with the skin more. And I just get, like, a tiny bit on the tip and I just fucking rub it up. And, yeah, it's fixed. It's not that big of a deal, but it's annoying. So now I'm gonna take my foundation brush because sometimes the tape will leave like little squares on your face and you're like, oh, that's not cute. So I just blend those out with my foundation brush. I'm thinking 
I should do like a pink and purple thing under my eye because that's like different. So I need a lavender pink and I know I have a good one in the uh, Jawbreaker palette. And yeah, there's this purple and gumdrop if you can see it. And I'm just going to take that and like blend that on the outside of my eye with a little baby brush. I use the JS13. It's a little small blending brush. Let's get a little bit and I'm going to start blending it on like the outer side of under my eye. And then for the inner side of my eye, I'm going to get this light pink and uh, bubble gum. My throat just made a weird noise and I'm just going to like blend it under there. I'm having indigestion. You guys are like, wow, Maddie, that's fucking cute. Thank you. I'm so interested in what fucking sounds your body's making. I don't know. Figured we could all be close. So now also for my waterline, I do something that I don't know if it's like safe, but I do it. I'm gonna get a dark purple, which I think there's one. No, there's actually a really nice one in the Alien palette. Um, and I take this brush again, very nice for, I use it for highlighting, for a bunch of shit. And I'm gonna pack Area 51 on it and then just like pack it in my waterline. And I don't know how safe that is. So like, you know, if you got sensitive eyes, don't do it, but I do it. Yeah, and it just like darkens it up. Oh, I'm in pain. What do you guys order at Starbucks? You guys are like, I fucking get Starbucks, Maddie. All right, well, let's say you did. What do you order? I'll tell you what I order. I order the fucking, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. What's it called? Pumpkin cream cold brew. That's what it is. Oh my God, my eyes, I'm fine. I, I do this all the time, so I'm like used to it. But like, honestly, like, I'm not kidding. If you're not used to this, don't smash a fucking pigment powder into your waterline. I'm gonna take this small blending brush again and I'm also gonna take the same dark purple, really tap off the excess and put this more on the purple side because it's a little light. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same like little fluffy brush that I used for my outer V if I can find it. Ma'am, oh it's under there. And I'm gonna take that pink and that purple again and just like really fluff it out so it's like you know going far down my eye because you know i like that look yeah i'm gonna take this fluffy one again well the small fluffy one and just like blend this shit out pretty much it we got a little eccentric look going on right now at this point we're gonna move on to like face stuff and this is where shit gets crazy so i have a Break a ton of blushes to choose from. I think I'm gonna mix together like this orange one from Tarte and this like super pink one from Tarte since we got like an orange and pink thing going on. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is start off with the pink. I use this brush, Crown, Crown. I don't know what number it is. I don't know, but it's like a little dense blush brush. Oh no, I'm skipping a step, dude. We gotta contour a little bit first. I'm so sorry. So now I use the beauty crop. This is during the summertime, so I use this darker one. Um, and it's in tanneries, tanneries, tanneries. Um, and I just contour where I put that cream stick at earlier. I used to use like a super fluffy brush for contouring, um, but then it just kind of made it look messy and more like a bronzer. Like it didn't look pretty, like you know shapely so now i've been just using the same brush for like all of my uh like powdered stuff because i just like the size of it okay now back to what i was doing i'm gonna start off with this orange one and i'm just gonna fucking like pick up a lot and i kind of go up like up here like right below where the wing is and like drag it all like under my eye kind of area you know like put it on my nose too just all over that shiz makes it look like i'm sick and dead and you know we like that and then i'm gonna take this um pink one oh i just put a little by my lips and um the, oh yeah the shades of these are uh tipsy and doll face tipsy is the orange one doll face is the super pink one and I'm just gonna like very lightly dust the pink one on top. So I'm gonna first get this super tiny brush by Suva Beauty, it's 620. Um, and then I'm gonna get my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade again in blonde. I'm gonna take my Pixie Spray 
um, the glow mist and spray it in there. And then I'm gonna give myself some freckles because um, I think my face makeup I really vibe with like the e-girl look. That's kind of like what I like. So I'm just gonna dab them on, pat them out with my finger. Oh, this is like <coughs> a Halloween kind of looking thing. I just like looked at it for a second and I was like, oh, okay, well, happy Halloween, everyone. It's September 12th. Shout out to all the people who naturally have freckles. Um, you don't know how fucking lucky you are. My little sister, I fucked up, is loaded with them. And I'm like, oh, must be for my stepdad's side because um, I don't have those. Okay, so the reason why I do my freckles first is because like, if they show up really dark on the high points of my face, I'm about to cover that up with highlighter so that like it looks a little more subdued all right so i'm going to use the js4 morphe jeffree star highlighting brush i'm gonna get the same ofra highlighter and i'm just gonna fucking put this shit everywhere bro next is motherfucking mascara so the one i've been using lately is just one from ipsy it's this little shishito one controlled chaos mascara ink time to put on falsies because I don't know how to function without them so I use black glue because I don't like how clear glue looks I think it dries weird and it just kind of like can make the eyeliner look fucky so I just use the kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe and black and then the lashes I wear all the time are kiss number ones I think yeah kiss number ones it's like the ever easy lash they're super separated and pretty i just take the glue off from when i wore them last now that we got the glue off them we're gonna take this and just do a little dollop on the end of this and then i just run the lash along it got some pumpkin ass looking eyes bro I fucking love it i got this huda beauty lip strobe in um mystical and it has like it's like pink, but it has like purple little flecks in it, so I think it's perfect because it matches under my eyes. First of all, when I take off my headband, I check my side cut, and then I like just take my brushes and like blend it in because we don't want to be looking rough. So yeah, I blend it into my hairline. I just take my foundation brush, and the excess foundation in there will fix that. Take my powder brush and just like do that. Pretty much the order that I would do if I was doing my face makeup but like in my head and then this is like my blush slash contour brush so I have like a couple of different like go-to hairstyles sometimes I just part it down the middle tuck it behind my ear so it doesn't get all wonk sometimes I leave my side cut out sometimes I do like two little like puppy dog ears at the top um I don't know but like I think right now like it down looks good but I usually have to tuck hair behind my ears because I get these curly pieces in the front so I'm going to take my little pick that I use to mix my foundation and make sure that this is all where it needs to be. Okay, and then usually like I accessorize. Um, so I have like these cute little statement glasses. I like these yellow ones, it matches. So we're just gonna go eat. Um, sometimes I wear earrings through my plugs, especially like if I want them to get like stretched out, which I think I wanna do. Also, like I said, help stretch them a little bit. They're doing good though. Um, I think that's it. Usually I don't wear like any necklaces if I'm wearing earrings because me personally, I think it's a lot, but you do you, girl. Um, I did use a brow gel after I turned the camera off like a dumbass. I used the Wander Beauty one. Um, it's a nice clear one. I like it a lot. And then I did do a setting spray, which is the Fix It Up matte setting spray by Koki yeah sorry I'm gonna end the video here make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on the bell if you want to know when I post um, my two Instagrams are modified makeup by Maddie and then my personal one is just Madeline McBride underscore I've yet to have like a Twitter that I use at this moment so I don't have any Twitter. Thanks for hanging out with me while I cake my face. Alright, bye guys!